Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vibe Me, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Flycast app on Xbox Dev Mode. So in this video, what you would need is the Flycast 2.2 APPX file, and also a BIOS file. It's very optional. If you do not have one, it is not needed. But if you do have one, it's always good to have it for better compatibility and memory card access if you do have one. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my BIOS file. And I'm just going to drop it into where my Dreamcast games are on my USB. So all you would need to do is on your USB device, make a folder for your Dreamcast games. And then if you have a BIOS, just simply drag it right into it. And then once you do that, now what we're going to do is we're going to have to install the Flycast app into the access portal for dev mode. So make sure to go into your Xbox, make sure you're in dev mode, you're signed in, go into the remote access settings, make sure you have enabled Xbox device portal checked, and then just write down these two URLs they give you or just take a picture on your phone. And then what you're gonna do is go onto your web browser on your computer and type either one in. But once you get into the access portal, all you have to do is right here underneath my games and apps, click on add. And then what we're gonna do is simply drag that Flycast 2.2 file we have right into this. And then click on next. It's gonna ask you to choose any necessary dependencies. There isn't any, so don't worry about it. Just click on start. Perfect. And then once it says it's registered, click on done. And then we're going to head over to the Xbox. Make sure you plug in your USB device and we're going to finish up this setup. I bet now that we're on the Xbox, what you want to do is hover over the Flycast app, press the select button on it, head down to view details, and make sure to change it from an app to a game. But if you already have that set automatically, then don't worry about it. And then we're just going to open it up. All right, this is going to be. All right, this is going to be the initial screen that you're greeted with. What we're going to do is go up to the top and go into the settings. Head down to the middle of the screen where it says content location. Press A and hover over add. And now what we're going to do is click. And then now what you want to do is press up on the D-pad. You should see it highlight like a box. Press A. And then we're going to press A repeatedly on up to parent directory until it shows you the drive letters. Since we're in dev mode, it should be the E drive. Now look for that folder you created earlier where you dragged your BIOS in, or just your folder that you made for your games. And then press B, go down and click on select current directory. And just like that, you configure that folder from your USB into the app. You could change any of the other settings, such as the language, the broadcast, the region, or the cable if you really wanted to. I'm just going to leave mine by default. And I'm just going to leave everything else here as well. Now, if you head into the video settings, from here, there is transparent sorting per triangle, per strip, or per pixel. I highly recommend doing per pixel. And then underneath, there's also automatic frame skipping. I'm just going to leave these by default. There is also a widescreen, a super widescreen, and a widescreen game cheats. They got the filtering. I'm going to put this to 16 times. They got VSync. You can enable the show FPS counter, show VMU in game. This is also really cool. Everything else I'm just going to leave by default and then you also have the internal resolution. I'm on the Series X so I usually just bump it all the way up. Series S may be a little different but you should still be able to get the best performance out of it. But if you have any games that are having issues definitely bump it down until your desired results. I will be making a separate video going over the screen rotation 90 degrees and also the online capabilities. So stay tuned for that. And then we're just going to press B and head all the way up to the top and click on done. Depending if you had games in your Dreamcast games folder already, then your game should be popping up and downloading the cover art. And then the last thing you can do is just click on one of your games and we're going to make sure that it loads in properly.
And just like that, we're loaded in. You can open the quick menu by pressing start and select at the same time. And then you can also save the game using save states and load into them using the load state. And then also you could just exit out of the game as well. And that's pretty much about it. I hope this video helped. If it did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos.